Hello, welcome everyone. Today we will understand how this VPN forced tunneling works in Azure VNet. In the in this example, Azure front end subnet is uh, it is not forced tunnel. The workloads to the for front end subnet can continue and accept and respond to customer requests from uh, internet directly. The mid tier and the back end tiers are forced tunnel. Any outbound connection from these two subnets or to the internet will be forced to or redirected back to internet via one, one of the site to site VPN tunnels. So why we are doing this? We have to restrict and um, uh, inspect internet access from our virtual machines or cloud services in Azure. Well, because we are continuing to enable our multiplayer service architecture required. So, if there are no internet facing uh, workloads in our virtual network means we can for apply forced tunneling to the entire virtual network itself. So here, this it will be the, there is a front end which has exposed to internet. Uh, so we are uh, allowing uh, that in uh, front tier only exposed to the uh, internet without having the forced tunnel. Otherwise, we can entirely apply the forced tunneling to our virtual network itself. So. Uh, it will also we have to for achieve this we have to use the uh, uh, user defined routes so that it redirecting to an on premises site is expressed as default route to the Azure VPN gateway so let us uh, and uh, moreover it is uh, done through PowerShell scripts only not through Azure portal so let us see how to configure it in our next upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.